Hi, good morning my dear student. Yes, in our previous class we have discussed a very important chapter that is called the introductions of trigonometric function. In this chapter already you have studied the introduction part and some uh, problems also yesterday. Now another most important problem is how to define already you know that to point out for the six trigonometric functions. Let us discuss. They have given one value or two value. How much value they have given? What they are asking question? Discuss one by one. Let us go to the problem first. So here, first problem in a triangle ABC right angled at B. They are already given the clue at angle B. AB they have given for the length. AB is 24 centimeter. BC is 7 centimeter. Determine. They are asking question sin A, sin A, cos A and second question sin C, cos C. This is the clear picture. What they have given? Solution. Alright. Try to understand. They have given question. Triangle. A, B, C. But in this case, right angle. What do you mean by right angle? Exactly 90 degree. At B. Right. So construct this one first. So and before that construct length A, B is how much? 24 centimeter and bc length bc length is 7 centimeter and angle b 90 degree why i'm going to give a right angle at b then only i can take so here construct the triangle first right angle term. here b i can give one so in this one so you can drag the line right so in this one you have given that value a c right so AB, how much is there? 24 centimeter. You can take a scale or directly approximately you can draw the diagrams. And BC, how much? 7 centimeter. What they're asking question that opposite, do you know that? Hypotenuse. So here, hypotenuse, we can find out first. Hypotenuse, right? In this hypotenuse, they have given for the ad so when you are going to two chances here theta or here theta because so these two are the acute angle here exactly 90 degrees there it is called right angle triangle in these two case whenever you are going to take here a theta so this is opposite right opposite this is adjacent first the cases in this first one so we are going to solution so similarly you can express for the before by using Pythagoras Pythagoras theorem right easy to point out for the values in this case what is the Pythagoras opposite a c square right a b square a b base or height b c square clear so we don't know that ac value keep constant ac whole square as usually so what about ab so 24 whole square plus so this one right what is the value 7 square 24 what is the value of 24 you you know that you can express for the 24 into 24 it's a perfect square so shall i express for the you can express for the values so 5 5 70 so here 24 24 16 so 8 9 so 8 so what is the value 4 uh, you can express for the values so here uh, right uh, 576 plus 49 right so here 49 add it so here 5 so what is the value so 8 12 right so here 625 so this one 6 you can ex express 625 ac square is 625 right this is the rough work try to understand that you can perfect all the squares these are the using and ac whole square is equal to shall i write 25 whole square therefore ac is equal to plus or minus 25 sorry it's called 5 right so express for the how you can write 25 now right so because these two get cancelled here 
hypotenuse is 21 clear how you can find out each values now there are the most important for the trigonometric ratios here they have given for the only two values are there. then easy for the first one sin a sin a means opposite divided by hypotenuse clear so opposite means here a is there this opposite 7 divided by 25 clear got it similarly cos a what is the cos a so cos a means adjacent divided by hypotenuse yesterday we have perfect all these things so then only we can find out for the values so what is the value adjacent means so 24 is there 24 divided by 25 hence required for the first case. we are going to find out for the second case what is the second case so i can drag that line first right here that this is the b this is the c here a so here and here here 90 degree no problems shall i take theta is there so already they have given 24 here 7 here what is the value 25 got it we can find out the values so here this one opposite opposite adjacent so this one hypotenuse and diagonal correct so now what they are asking sin c sin c is opposite divided by hypotenuse opposite means 24 divided by 25 correct so here theta opposite 24 and hypotenuse 24 so next cos c uh, adjacent definition of the cos c hypotenuse so here what happens you can try to understand adjacent is 7 divided by 25 hence required equation most important for the square and square root and it is easy for to point out of all those values of a six trigonometric they have given only two so this type of problems they are asking one marks or two marks question in your board so everyone perfect and i will be continue for the next problem any doubts are there i have given names with the mobile number contact with us thank you so much bye